I'm going to be using two um, chunks of hickory. I mean, I'm sorry, not hickory. Two chunks of um, white oak when it goes in. <clears throat> now I'm using. Uh, I had two half bags. Well, not half bags, but I had two leftover bags of one of the western and one was royal oak. I the um. Let me, I'm using two, <coughs> I had two leftover bags of, char of lump charcoal. One brand was Western, one brand was the um, Royal Oak. So we're just a little bit in each bag and that's what I'm using for this cup. I noticed with the Western brand charcoal that it burns super, really hot. And that's a, uh, that brand of um, lump charcoal really burns really hot and it burns hot for a long time. So, so not only do you get a good bargain with it being um, a 30 pound bag for 10 bucks at Walmart, it also burns really long, burns really hot. Um, I was re-seasoning my um, cast iron grates for my um, Weber, Weber kettle and um, after I was season, finished with the seasoning process, I just let it, and I shut down the uh, vents and everything to try to go ahead and quench the fire. I came out the next morning, those coals was, I mean, you still had, I, I guess a problem maybe 150, maybe a 200 degree um, heat coming off of that thing from the previous day. So I was, that really surprised me because normally when you close the dampers on uh, any, any of the smokers, you know, like your coals go out like that. But for that to still been burning hot, I'm guessing air was coming in somewhere. So that's probably why the coals are still hot. But still for it to have that much radiant heat still coming off of it, surprised me and, and impressed me um, with that brand of charcoal. So um, I went on and loaded up some more with bought some old bags after um, seeing that. So um, that Western brand brand of charcoal at Walmart. <coughs> I post a picture of it um, right here. <laughs> so, and so uh, if you have if you haven't seen it already, go check that brand of charcoal out at Walmart. Walmart selling it now for ten bucks. Um, uh, it's, I'm hearing ten bucks in our area in here in Virginia, Tide Water over here is running like um, 988. <coughs> you can get um, uh, um, Royal Oak for 986, I believe. 996, I believe. So, uh, according to this thermometer here, the temps is getting right now is at. Uh, 250 degrees and two, still climbing. So uh, it's probably gonna get a little hot. I'm gonna try to figure out a way to damper it down even more, <coughs> just so it don't get too hot. Like I said, that Western stuff gets really, really hot. Um, I've used it in the 270, and I've used it um, when I did some grilling um, after seasoning my own cast iron grates uh, on my on my. Uh, Weber kettle. All right, uh, let me just show you my cast iron grates <laughs> just for GP. Um, these things they got really, really rusty, and I mean they were terrible. They were really rusty, and um, I want to start gearing up for cooking steaks for um, the State Cook-Off Association, and I wanted to use these grates to help get my grill marks on it, <clears throat> but these things, they got so bad and rusty. Um, I went to Greg's channel, Greg, um, over at Ballistic Barbecue, and watched his reseasoning process, and I just did that, and now these things look look look. Good as new, good as new, um, good seasoning process. Uh, um, big shout out to Greg over at Ballistic Barbecue. Uh, he's one of the first people I started following 
on the YouTube on YouTube <clears throat> as far as this barbecue stuff is to go is going. I had the pleasure of meeting him a couple of years ago when I was out in San Diego on a business trip and uh, met him and his family. Great, great people. Greg's a great guy. Greg, if you're watching, I greatly appreciate all that you've been doing uh, in barbecue and um, keep up the great work. Um, <clears throat> back up camera. So uh, let's wait, wait for that to get up the temp. Uh, where it is, it is up the temp, but I want it to see where it's going to peak out at. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the hooks and the um, pork butt. And we're gonna hang the pork butt and be my first time hanging some meat since that be since that seems to be all the rage. Well it was all the rage. I'm behind the curve. Now pellet smoker is a big thing. Getting a pellet smoker. Uh, I still haven't done the caveman steak thing yet either. So I guess I need to get a video and try that. Alright. Y'all stay tuned. Alright.